Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper IP version 6, lab number 1. In this lab, we're going to take a look at IP version 6 static routing. So, this is our first IP version 6 lab, so I thought I would start out with the basics, and before we get into the dynamic routing protocols and other more complicated IPv6 features, I thought I would just start from the ground up and do static routing, show you how to configure it. So what we're going to do in this lab, we have two routers, router 1 and router 2. They are connected together via logical tunnel interfaces. And so they are logical systems. If you're not familiar with logical systems, I would suggest go back and watch my logical systems videos. So router 1 and router 2 are connected via their logical tunnels. R router 1 is LT-120.12 and router 2 is LT-120.21. What we're going to use is frame relay encapsulation for this lab. I tried to do en Ethernet encapsulation with IPv6 and for some reason uh, it wasn't working. So you might be able to do it on your devices at home or in your lab, but I'm just doing frame relay encapsulation. You can do Ethernet. really doesn't matter for this lab. The encapsulation we're not going to talk a whole lot about. But we are going to start this lab from the ground up. I'm going to go in and create our logical systems and our encapsulation, our logical tunnel interface. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our IPv6 addresses on our logical tunnel interfaces on router 1 and router 2. Then we're also going to talk briefly about the link local IP v6 addresses and that is our FE80 double colon 1 forward slash 64. That's a link local IP address. We're going to show you our IPv6 address I should say. We're going to show you why you want to set that and what it's used for. Then we're also going to configure our loopbacks on R1 and R2. We're going to configure an IPv6 prefix. We're going to end the lab by configuring IPv6 static routing and we will be able to ping and source our pings from our loopback. For instance on router 1 we'll source from loopback 0.1 and we should be able to successfully ping loopback 0.2 and then we'll do the same thing on R2. So the first thing I want to talk about is we already talked a little bit about our network diagram. We have the IPv6 address, our network of 2001, 12, 12, 12, double colon, forward slash 64. And that's the connection between R1 and R2. Router 1 has the one IP address on that subnet, and then Router 2 has the two IP address. IPv6 address, I should say. And we also have on R2, we have loopback 0.2, which is the address, IP address of 2001, 222, double colon 2, forward slash 64. And then loopback 0 0.1 on R1, which is 2001, 111, double colon 1, forward slash 64. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we're going to do is create our logical systems. We'll do that. We'll just do the command. I'm sorry, first we got to be under edit mode. We'll do set logical systems R1 interfaces LT120.1. 